Let's talk about how Sony and Disney plan on keeping the web slinger in the MCU for, and I quote, years to come. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I got a little update on the Sony Disney Spider-Man deal. But first, make sure you get in on this month's giveaway. We're giving away a copy of JLA 1 million. To get in on the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit like, and leave a comment. Well, we all pretty vividly remember the giant internet temper tantrum that happened when Sony and Disney couldn't get their stuff together and keep Spider-Man in the MCU. The fans went over the edge, and clearly something was going to have to be done. Apparently, Tom Holland's little call to Bob Iger was what pushed it over the edge. But recently, The Hollywood Reporter had a studio executive roundtable where they got all the big wigs from every major studio, including Netflix and Amazon, all together to talk about movies. Now, if you're a movie fan, I highly recommend this, and I included a link to it down in the description below. But for us comic book fans, what was really important was the exchange between Tom Rothman, who runs Sony, and Disney's Alan Horn about Spider-Man. Now, the subject did come up about Spider-Man leaving the MCU, and this is what Alan Horn had to say. The fan base, which is really important to all of us, seemed to really respond to what Tom and the Spider-Man crew had done before, and they like it. They like the fact that the MCU and Kevin Feige were involved, and we heard feedback out there that suggested joining forces once again was probably a really good idea. Now, fans were pretty excited about Spidey sticking around, but we were all more than a little concerned about the future. And this is where Rothman gave the most positive comment of the evening. When asked if the partnership between them and Disney would continue, he said, and I quote, I hope so. I think this was a classic win-win-win. I think it was a win for Sony. I think it was a win for Disney. I think it was a win for fans and moviegoers. The only thing I would say is that the news cycle and the rhythms of negotiation don't necessarily overlap. I think we would have gotten there and the news got ahead of some things. Well, this all sounds like pretty good news to me. I think the key thing here is that Rothman is planning on having this relationship last for a while. This is quite a big change from the guy that has sandbagged many a good superhero movie and was the man who sewed Deadpool's mouth shut. I think Sony's financial future is very dependent on Spider-Man. You hear about all these solo movies for a reason and they're really looking to build their own Avengers-style event film. This is the Sinister Six we're all waiting for. In any case, the fact that Disney and Sony plan on playing nice for a much longer period of time is great news and kind of led some credence that this initial deal was just the first part of maybe a two-part deal. They just needed to get something on paper right away, and the rumor was it was to keep John Watts in the mix and keep him from moving on to a new project. Obviously, none of that's been substantiated, but it does seem to make sense at this point in time. I'm really curious on what you guys think. Are you excited to see Spider-Man have long-term plans with both studios? And which studio does this deal bring the most benefit to? I'm curious on what you guys think. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.